I have categorized uh, the books by genre and uh, I have contemporary I have classics I have poetry and I have middle grade uh, horror gothic fantasy uh, many things so let's dive into this Hi everyone Welcome to Sharmista and Books. I am Sharmista. I make book recommendation videos, book review videos, and more fun book-related videos where you can also get informations about films, about web series, and anything that is connected to reading. I am totally drawn to that. I am instantly drawn to that, and I hope if you are uh, like me, if you have interest in books and films and a web series and if you want to explore everything in this particular side of the internet and if you really want to explore this type of content please subscribe to my channel i make videos both in bengali and in english also so you will get two different languages all the elements because i'm a bengali i make bengali videos in future i have been planning to separate the channels but right now i uh, put all my contents in this channel so please support me and this video is um, about all the english books i have read in 2022 and all the best books which i think is worth mentioning i have been dying to make this video these couple of days have been really crazy for me today we are going to talk about all the books that i think was the best read of 2022 and i am going to be very brief because here i have almost 20 books so i have to be very quick and brief about every book so um let's jump into this and before we get started i want to take a break and sip my coffee This book I'm going to talk about is probably one of the most influential book of uh, 2022 for me, and that is uh, on art. We are briefly gorgeous by Ocean Vuong. This is a book that will really inspire you to write your own biography because this is so poetic. This is a semi autobiographical. This is about Ocean Vuong's uh, own personal experience and his relationship with his mother and that. post trauma of vietnam war and the generation uh, who uh, didn't face the vietnam war but who had parents who have done that who have faced vietnam war this book is so poetic and at times it will really uh, melt your heart it will make your eyes moist and it will make you feel everything at a uh, time sometimes i used to feel like i am so overwhelmed with emotions i used to uh, close the book and just stare at nothing because that's the power and impact of this book this talks about the post war trauma that ocean hong's uh, mother faced and how that shaped his childhood and how his mother's ptsd affected him as a child and also as an immigrant in america how he survived and how he found his solace in literature so this book is probably one of the best books i have read last year and this contemporary literary fiction is everything and i'm waiting to uh, read his poetry collection because first of all let's appreciate the title he comes up with amazing titles that will immediately make you pick his book and uh, i uh, won't say that this book is going to uh, be an easy read because yeah this has a trigger warning of suicide this has ptsd this has many uh, traumatic experience like sexual violence and coming out to your parents many things that are really difficult and i think the way it has been described with an ease this will connect to you in a way that will stay with you forever and and i can tell you how many times i just took my pencil and i just highlighted all the areas i just uh, underlined all the areas because those are so beautiful uh, lines and he is a great prose writer i am so so glad that i got to read this book i i feel so fortunate let me read one passage from this book and you will understand what i am talking about it is no accident ma that the comma resembles a fetus 
that curve of continuation we were all once inside our mothers saying with our entire carved and silent selves more 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 i want to insist that our being alive is beautiful enough to be worthy of replication and so what so what if all i ever made of my life was more of it this is pure literature this is pure joy and if you haven't read it yet please pick this book okay the next i have a uh, harry potter and uh, though i have this old battered copy of harry potter actually i have finished the entire series this year and oh my god now i can officially call myself a potter head because i have read all the books jk rowling has crafted this world it is so believable so magical and yet so recognizable and relatable i can't even tell you that uh, i am really uh, planning to read harry potter again and i can read harry potter at any age i mean any time anywhere i think uh, harry potter is going to be my comfort book next i have uh, the little prince again this book is for everyone everyone should read uh, the little prince once in their life and also uh, this is a book you can come back and read again because this is kind of a book that will stay with you remain with you forever if you are deserted in a island if you are secluded and if you can carry only one book if you are isolated with one book you should be isolated with this book because this will give you company for the rest of your life this is such an amazing book and so with our crazy busy lifestyle with all the competition all the chasing all the racing we just forget to uh, take a pause and appreciate all the beauty of the world and this book will definitely remind you what matters in your life this will make you appreciate your life more and i think you should definitely read this book this is written in a simple english language and also this has beautiful illustrations which will make your reading experience more fun and more comforting and as i have told you earlier this book is definitely like a warm hug to me okay next i have a book that is also middle grade and that is unadaptables by hana took i got this book in my chapter 1 blind date with books i still didn't uh, get my next order which i placed in october i still didn't get my blind date with books that copy is not shipped yet i don't know where it is i i am just freaking out but let's come back to this book this was a total discovery this was so fun and um this is about five orphan children uh, and their journey and it's just so amazing so adventurous and i really really love the writing and uh, over the time i have discovered that middle grade is my comfort uh, genre and uh, I just when I feel like not reading anything heavy I will I go back to reading a middle grade book and the innocence of this book really really filled my heart Next I have a spooky gothic haunted house mystery and that is by none other than Shirley Jackson and this book is We have always lived in the castle this book I have included in uh Wednesday Adams's video I think you should definitely check that out and this book is so much fun this is so weird and so unusual the narrator is unreliable she hates everyone around her except her own sister and her uncle Julian and she is so mysterious yet so dark and she is so different than other teenagers but she's in a way very likable and cool i would say i think charlie jackson has made this very very difficult not to love her so i am definitely uh, in love with the narration of this story and this creepy book cover is everything i love this edition this is deluxe edition and um This is a very uh, easy and quick read if you are looking for something short and quick and interesting I really recommend this one 
Okay, next I have another gothic book because I have actually put all the gothic uh, thriller books uh, together. This is Mexican Gothic by Silvio Moreno Gracia. You have watch me talk about this book for so many times so i am not going to repeat this this is another haunting house mystery that doesn't deal with actual ghosts or spirits or anything but the feeling of that creepiness the mystery of the house and the characters were really mysterious and really spooky and they're up to something you can't figure it out and um it's everything it's very mysterious and it's it's full of suspense and it will give you a feeling of someone is right behind you watching you because this is a book that will really get you a uh, sucked into the narrative it you will get really drawn in the world of this house and i really loved it and it has many things to talk about mushrooms so if you have read this book you know what i'm talking about and if you haven't read it yet this is the perfect time to read a spooky book okay next i have a classic gothic again and it's shakespeare and it is hamlet and this edition is a beautiful edition but really an useless edition because this doesn't have any notes or anything it's just a text but i uh, i included this copy because this is easy to carry my arden copy is so heavy i didn't want to take that out but yes if if you want to read uh, any shakespearean play i would definitely recommend a book that includes all the notes uh, and arden is the best for that if you are a student and if you are struggling with the shakespearean language i would recommend you no fear shakespeare by spark not I'm putting the picture of the cover here so that you can find this one. This is also a great way to read Shakespearean plays if you are not familiar with the language. So uh, in the Spark Notes editions you get all the modern translation in the right side and the actual text in the left side. So you can really check that out while reading it. But also keep an Arden edition for all the notes that you really need, all the references that you need to understand while reading the text. And I really enjoyed Hamlet. Hamlet is so far my favorite uh, Shakespeare. I read this for my master degree and I am so glad that it was included in my syllabus and I'm so glad I attempted it because I chose to read this because everyone was actually uh, telling me and suggesting me not to attempt this because Hamlet is uh, longer than other plays of Shakespeare but I am glad I did it and also I watched Hamlet both in Bengali and the one where Benedict Cumberbatch uh, played Hamlet and I really really love the story I really love all the adaptations and I am really a great fan of Haider also by uh, Shalvara Raj you should definitely check that out um, that is an Indian uh, Hindi adaptation film adaptation of Hamlet Next, I have a mystery by my favorite Agatha Christie, and it is "Death Comes as the End." You have this is very different from Agatha Christie's uh, usual plot. This is a historical plot, and this is set in ancient Egypt. This is about all the bad women, all the superstitions they had about death, and Egypt is very, very specific with the uh, ritual of uh, death and preserving the body uh, you know about pyramid and all so this is very interesting and this is about a serial killing in a family and if you want to see a bunch of crazy people going bonkers in the ancient age and killing each other for money and power you should definitely pick this one because why not we all love game, game of thrones right except me i haven't watched it yet so i have to really read and watch game of thrones but yes um coming back to this book i have read other agatha christie books this year obviously no surprise in that but yes uh if i have to pick the best one i think this is the best one of this year okay next i have poetry collections the first I want to talk about is uh, Anna Akhmatova's poetry collection. This is Every Man's Pocket Poetry. I have discovered Anna Akhmatova in 2022 and from that point I am a very big fan of her poetry. I have read this in English translation and reading poetry in English translation I know is bad. Reading any kind of poetry in translation uh, it's just not as good as it's supposed to be but still 
this translation is really good and i i, I love her imagery she writes in a very uh, relatable manner that that is not very difficult and complicated to understand and uh, it's just so beautiful to discover all these amazing female poets of the world i love visual uh, metaphors i love short brief um, imageries and she really uses all these devices uh, beautifully brilliantly she is one of the most appreciated poets of her time so i think um, I'm, i'm i feel really fortunate to be able to read her and that's all Next I have another amazing powerful female poet and she is Christina Rossetti and this is the collection uh, named the Goblin Market where where you get to read a long poem called Goblin Market which is about two sisters and the goblins who are trying to manipulate them who are trying to break their sisterhood and trying to trap them and it it reads like a fairy tale but it's really dark and i have discussed about this book this has a uh, many uh, interesting and uh, dark theme her other poems as well they are really deep i also discovered her poetry when i was preparing for my masters so um every poems of her is very uh, gloomy and the interesting fact about her is that she never got proper education she was uh, neglected her brother was dg rosetti who was a famous painter and a writer and i also read his poems for my taste but i think i appreciated uh, christina rosetti's uh, ones more because um his poems are very descriptive and kind of they read like paintings i think they are really beautiful but i think the this has all the emotions all the depth and better take on human psyche that i really appreciated and the way she used the metaphors of goblin in a male dominated world uh, and the way she has used this metaphor of two women stuck in a goblin dominated world it is so powerful and this used to be a part of children's syllabus because a uh, goblin market used to be considered as a fairy tale nobody actually thought that uh, this could have deeper meaning after that many feminist researchers have written about this and discovered the uh, inner meaning of this poem and all the metaphors what exactly uh, rosetti was trying to convey to us and now and uh, the poem is taken seriously and i am again very fortunate to be a literature student to be able to read that if you are looking for a powerful portrayal of uh, mundane things of lives and if you are looking for a different kind of poetry from women a powerful writing impactful writing you should definitely go for christina rosetti Okay when I started the video I never imagined that this is going to be 1 hour long so um I am probably going to break this video into two sections two divided videos if you are watching this that means you have come to the ending of the first part of this video and you have to wait for a few days for me to edit the second part and till then tata take care and read more books and please subscribe to my channel